All right, guys, we just got done catching bait this morning. Probably don't have any footage of that because there's a lot of people in the water and we're just trying to get it done quick, but uh, that's the nicest thing in Matt's lifetime. Oh, yeah. This is Matt right here. What's oh, going on? Well, that'll be a 20 pound black fin, about five. Minutes. Okay, he's calling it. This is Matt right here. What's going on? One of the OG shop boys. We lost him to school, actually, so. But we're out here right now. Oh, we got a remote Oh, don't tempt me with a good time. All right, we're putting baits out. We'll see you when we're tight. So do I. Got a double. We got a double going on. Let's go. We have to have the same fish. <laughs> oh. No, we have two fish. You're lying. Here, take yours. Which one's mine? That one. Right? Oh, he's getting chewed right there. Pull, pull, pull. Little mutton. No, oh, look at the Jew, look at the Jew. Pull, pull, pull. I'm trying your lines. Oh, you got him. I got him. I can't pull anymore. <laughs> what just nice. happened? What just happened? happened? All right, both of our leaders are done, but caught two keepers. Nice. Here's one keeper. Can you, you see the Jew fish on Oh, yeah. That was so, that was the most suspect thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, when? Ice is God, ice is <laughs> Yeah, Jay, I'm sorry if that leader ain't gonna do it. Thank you. Holy This thing just got spooked. Mango? No, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. No worries. Take that one all day. Three pounder? You just getting meat coals? Yeah. <laughs> Another nice one? Uh, we're catching muttons. Smoked a green yeah. one. Oh, my God. Dude. Came back to the scraps. Wow, that's all I have to say. If you get chewed. <laughs> Did you see that bite? That was a great regis. Coming for you. Coming for you, you know. <laughs> Seven, eight pounder. Nice one. I can't complain with that one. A little beauty. 
be at heart. Smoke my greenie there, boys. Look at this tail, how pretty it is. Choked it. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and- uh, Literally hold up the fish. Literally drove right by us. They're gonna stop right there. Wow. Angry, Jake. Watch my rod, man. Might have just started moving into it. That is a nice one. And there. How are you getting? I'm literally getting eight, and they're sitting there. Oh, he's there. He's there. Wow. Too bad he's three inches. Is that your bait? Oh my god, look at oh. this. Oh, nice run. Where's your ass now? I'm a chicken. I don't know. They don't shoot. Nice run. Nice
finger off. Yeah. Wow. We're getting smaller, I cannot lie. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. Gonna fly up this fish. We got our beautiful mutton snapper. Nice one. Gonna go ahead and make this first cut right behind his head. Then I'm gonna follow all the way down. I'm just inserting the knife, that's all I'm doing. sliding all the way down backbone just like that come out through the tail just like that boom come up over the over the top of the backbone just keep sliding my knife down so all you're doing is just working around that backbone separating meat from the fish. Right. Question. Yes. Is it going to say filet filming by Johnson? Yeah, Johnson's flying right now, so he's getting the credit. Just like this. Beautiful, come up over the rib cage. You don't want that in the meat. It's a little piece of rib cage I can't cut there. Just, there it is. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful piece of mutton snapper. Nice. Hey, that's a nice fillet table you got on top yeah, of two coolers. <laughs> would you like me to build you a fillet table? What was that? Yeah, I would love I would love for you to build me a flight table. I'll think That's about it. That's the first side of the mutton snapper, the beauty. We're gonna show you the other side. Then we're gonna flip that mangrove, that little mangroves over there. Same thing on the other side. Come up right here. Sorry about the little bird noise. Go through the other side of that fish, just like that. Pull his tail out. All the way back up. Over the rib cage. Another beautiful side of mutton snapper. Gonna take that one to the marina and let him go for his last swim. By the way, it's my six inch Dexter knife right here. And then I'm going to use my 8 inch skinning knife. Because that's what I like to use for skinning the fish. It's a little bit longer blade. Come right there. Slow, you want to do slow and steady. Just back and forth, just against the meat. Anchor your knife down like 90 degree angle. 45 degree angle. I mean. And then they got a set of pin bones right in between, right here. Cut that set of pin bones out. And then a little bit of rib cage left. That's it. Got your beautiful mutton snapper fillet.
boom, we're gonna do the other side. Same thing on the other side here. that get those pin bones out a little bit of rib cage left and that is it two beautiful mutton snapper fillets ready for the kitchen we'll see you guys back in the kitchen all right guys we're actually back in the kitchen now Today's Mother Day. Today's Mother Day. Today is Mother's Day. Oh. Drop a comment below when you're seeing this. Wish my mom a happy Mother's Day. Um, but we actually aren't gonna show you the cooking portion of this video because, like I said, it's Mother's Day and we weren't trying to occupy the kitchen, just trying to cook it up nice and quick. But uh, there's what we got. See if I can get this Johnson to focus. It's a nice potatoes, beautiful mutton snapper, a little sussy kale. What do we got there, Johnson? Uh, what do we got? We got a kale, potatoes, mutton snapper with uh, peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic. Uh, Dan did the cooking, so let, we'll let him take over. So we took some mutton and mangrove. We laid a glass pan with butter. We laid the mangrove down and mutton down. And then we season it with some original Everglades, of course. We put some red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers on it. Yeah. Some tomatoes sliced up, garlic, red onion, Connemala olives, and we just cooked it all together in the oven for 425 degrees for like 25 minutes. And then we got some crispy potatoes with smoked paprika. They're pretty good too. So it's gonna be a nice Mother's Day dinner. Wow. All right. Wow. I'm gonna try the potatoes, because I've had one Dan came in my room and puts me one. They're so good. Mmm. The paprika on the potatoes. Petite. That's all I have to say. Petite. You see how that little amount of onion is enough? Mm -hmm. What do you guys say about the fish? The fish is what delicious. Mm, garlic. Mmm. I'm talking about the onion. I taste it. We can do an onion. The red onion, Dan? I see, oh. I see red onion. Very, I thinking, very I suspect. Yeah, and I can tell you when light we'll on the garlic, very important. Yeah. It's good. I love myself a nice tomato. I with the light on this. And you know, guys, yeah. I actually wanted to, uh, my buddy David Nason, shout out to David, slid up on my Snapchat story when he saw I caught those muttons, and he was like, dude, do a mutton on the half shell with the skin on the grill. Unfortunately, we don't have a grill because our grill broke, but if any guys want to sponsor us with a grill, we'd appreciate it. Right, Dan? I just got the flavor of the garlic. I just hit a bite. Um, no, what I was saying is, when you're doing the, the red, orange, yellow peppers, They got it. It's a great color. Looks good. All right. But here's what we got. They're subtle. Yeah, very light flavor. flavor. You got the mutton, a little red, red pepper on there, a little bit of tomato. Would be better, but we didn't have it. Mm. Mm. And if you overdid it, it would be too much. Mm -hmm. Can't beat fresh mutton snapper. My favorite. All right, Dad. It's his favorite. It's my favorite. Can't beat it. Dad, it. Was it good, Dan? You liked it? Yeah, it's good, but Dad, what? you take mine over a mahi mahi? Ah, every day. They're just joking. Um, really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you liked about the video. Like I said, mutton snapper. I love to catch, I love bottom fishing. It's my favorite thing to do. Love to catch them, love to cook them. Um, I get to share with you guys, so it's pretty cool. But when you're seeing this video, hopefully we have shirts out. That's all I gotta say. I don't know when this is coming out. I, we got a bunch of videos filmed. 
But when you're seeing this video, hopefully we're at 10K subs and we got moving away shirts. Till then, stay tuned for the next video. Boys out. Hey, what, what were you gonna do there, Dad? Oh.